Lesions of the shoulder, a slab tear. It is a tear at the top of the labrum. Slab means superior labral tear, anterior to posterior of the biceps root. The MRI sensitivity is about 50%, but when you do MRI arthrogram, the specificity is over 90%. Buford complex superiorly is not a tear. It is not a slab tear. Slap tear is a difficult diagnosis. Type 2 slap tear is the most common type, and in young adult, you repair this tear. In this situation, the superior labrum is completely torn from the glenoid. Slap tear can be isolated or part of internal impingement, which has articular sided cuff tear. It also can be part of shoulder instability. Slap tear may be associated with cuff tear in about 40% of the time. Slap tear is common in throwing athletes, but it is not common in general. In fact, it is hard to diagnose. The anterior superior labrum has a very poor blood supply. The superior labrum anchors the biceps just posterior to 12 o'clock position. So that superior labrum is weak and is subject to tearing. Superior labrum tear is a slap. Slap tear may have four types or more. Here are the four types of a slap tear. Type 1 Freeing of the labrum, then you debride that. Type 2, detached biceps tendon anchor. And if the patient is young, you reattach the biceps tendon anchor to the labrum. The third type is a bucket handle tear with intact biceps insertion, and the treatment is debridement of the bucket handle. The fourth type is a bucket handle tear that extend to the biceps tendon. That will create a detached biceps tendon anchor. And the treatment is debridement plus biceps tenotomy or tenodesis. How about the symptoms of a slap tear? Patient will have deep shoulder pain with catching, popping and clicking, weakness, decreased throwing velocity or distance, Difficulty in overhead activity. The exam, O'Brien test is the most commonly used test. There's a lot of other tests that can be used. The more positive the test, the more you confirm a slap tear is present, then you can go to MRI arthrogram for the definitive diagnosis. You also may find some tenderness over the biceps if the process involves the biceps tendon. If the patient has a spinoglenoid cyst as diagnosed by the MRI, that will involve the supraescapular nerve and the patient will have decreased external rotation because of involvement of the infraspinatus. And when you treat the slap tear by repair or depreement, you want to decompress that cyst. How do you do the O'Brien test? The patient is standing or sitting with the arm at 90 degree of flexion and 10 degree of adduction and fully internal rotated with the forearm pronated. The examiner apply pressure to the forearm and instruct the patient to resist the applied force. Pain at the shoulder joint suggests a slap tear. Decrease in pain of the shoulder joint on spination of the forearm 
is suggestive of slab tear. MRI arthrogram is the best study to diagnose slab tear. You want to look at the coronal images because you want to see the superior labrum. In banker, you want to look at axial cut because you want to see the anterior labrum. The normal labrum is seen in coronal MRI. The normal superior labrum is seen as a black signal. The superior labrum is completely dark and triangular. When you do an arthrogram MRI, you will see a bright signal within the superior labrum that is a slab tear. The dye will go only inside the labrum if there is a tear in the labrum. This is an example of type 2 slab tear, which is the most common type. The white area with the dye inside highlights the area of the tear. Type 2 slab tear is very popular on a standard board exam questions. There are a couple of important points. The first one is it's important to know the difference between a slab lesion and bankert lesion. The slab lesion is injury to the glenoid labrum at the insertion of the biceps tendon due to overhead activities or a fall on the outstretched hand. The banker lesion is injury to the anterior inferior glenoid labrum due to anterior shoulder dislocation, a single episode or repeated dislocations. Another important area that can be confused with a slab tear is the Buford complex. It is a normal anatomic variant. The cord-like middle glenohumeral ligament and absent anterior superior labrum. So it looks like a slab but really isn't a slab. And they may confuse you in an exam. In general, the treatment should start with physiotherapy, anti-inflammatory medication, injections, and surgery is done when conservative treatment fails. The surgery can be debridement or biceps tenodesis or biceps tenotomy in the older population. Another procedure is slab repair. In this situation, the surgeon will use sutures to anchor the torn labrum to the glenoid. It's usually done for the athletes and patients under the age of 40 years old, especially if it is type 2 slab tear. 